So we're gonna be replacing the starter gear on this Skidoo starter. We've got, you can see these are worn off where they didn't engage with and mesh with the flywheel. And we've got a brand new one here that we're gonna put on. See what it's supposed to look like. So we're gonna be pulling this one apart, try to swap this out, and I'll come back in a few minutes to show you what All what right, this is something I thought would help people here. You have to pull this off, and it's actually held in place with a um, clip, like a C-clip. There's a new one that comes in the kit, you can see here on the rebuild kit, um, and that's what you're trying to find, but I could not move this. It's supposed to move and pivot freely like this. Sorry if I had the camera wrong there. This is the C-clip that comes in the kit, and this is the one I actually got out. And what I did is I just kind of put this in a vise upside down and gently tapped on that end. I didn't want to mar that up. And then pushed it out, and then I was able to, and you're able to slide that off. So once you have this off, you can actually just replace the gear. I, Shouldn't have removed all of this. Now I have this armature um, and pickup and a bad old ring. <laughs> so I'll have to get some parts for that. But while we're here, I did see in the service manual, there's some specifications that, that I'll check over. So I guess while I pulled it apart, I'll give it a once over and make sure it's good to okay, install. So I made a little jig here using the vise and the weight of the vise to hold the, sh the collar back. And then I use this clamp going down to the bottom at the padded um, end for the commuter and armature. And I was able to get that retaining washer on. It's very stiff. It's not like a circlip. You have to just pry it on, then bend it tight. And right now it's completely tight. So as soon as I release this, I'm good to go. All right, so I got this cleaned up. I just put this tip here into a drill and then spun it while using a 3M sanding block. Just got it nice and cleaned up. And then I took a screwdriver and I kind of went in each one of these grooves just to kind of clean out and make sure that there's solid segments. And then I put a multimeter on continuity test and I just went around each segment all the way around and it should beep on every single individual segment which it did and then i also took uh, ground put it here and positive here and tested and there was no beeps so that means this this um, starter is good and i can start to reassemble it 